Good day. You got Queensland Kev. Just been playing with a good old um, brew system. I got my main 3V that I like playing with, but it's only good for bigger size brews, so 75 liters. I guess I do a 69 on there as well. Through to 100 liter batches, so it's no good for testing little beers or if you want to make a Wizen or a Lambic. Yeah, not really that good for it. So I built myself a little toy system. It's basically a um, stainless steel mash tun. It's a one vessel brewery. In the bottom, we've got a um, false bottom. Underneath the false bottom, we've actually got the heating element built in. So it's just a standard little cheap UXL one. We're lagging. Lagging around the front here is a bit crappy. It's just some leftover shit I had going around. Just to test her out. So basically it comes out from the um, underneath the false bottom and through one of the um, caps and pumps. I've got the model that's the um, MP20. And it's the R, not the RM. So it doesn't have threads, it's just push on fittings. So I've just got the silken hose rammed on there. And then for the return lines, I've got one return in, in the bottom underneath the false bottom, and I've got one return up top. So the idea of running the bigger pump is most of the flow from the pump is actually going in through this bottom. As you can see, the valve is actually fully open on both, and the top's just any excess pressure being relieved. So then I can actually just throttle this back to whatever I want. So when I'm brewing, I can just adjust it to how much flow I want at the top. The excess pressure is just recircling back through that bottom, keeping the wart around the heating element moving very fast. So the outlet here is actually blowing directly at the um, element. For controllers, I've actually just got my um, HLT controller for the main system. I'm just using this other one for the pump. Make switching off and on easier than yanking cords. Good thing about with this pump and the 2000 watt UXL element, I can actually run it off one power board, the whole system, and it hasn't tripped out yet. Up to 46 degrees. So basically, with this system, I've built myself a burner bag type bag. Mm. Typical burner bag, Swiss vial bag. So I'll be putting it in there, reset for the bag. Got no intention of sparging at all, nothing fancy, not worried about high efficiency points. I think I should get a 75% pre ball efficiency regardless, you know, without sparging, just by the recirc going on. The whole concept of your system is to make brewing real simple and easy, fun to enjoy. So the brew day will be, throw the bag in once we hit the temp, Throw the grains in, reset. I can do my step mash, whatever I want, because I've got the controller. Makes it nice and easy. Heating element will take care of it. Mash, run through, hit the 78 degree mash out temp. Once I get to that temp, basically I'll lift the bag straight out, a quick drain, and then just dump the grain. No sparge, no nothing. Drop the false bottom out, and then go straight in, head for the boil. So, nice and simple. The element for the STC. I'll try and get that in the camera. So I've just got the normal end floating around in there. I'll be throwing it into the bag, in the middle of the grain. Um, I may even throw it on top where the direct outlet is pouring back in. I'll probably be able to give a um, arm coming out of that later on. That's why I've got that fitting on there. But I can throw a bit of half inch copper and make a fancy return on. But for this today's brew, it's only really a test. I'm only making a real basic Aussie gold. 
So it's only a simple, easy brew, just to prove it works. Which I don't have any doubts. The um, little Caxon pump, first time I've done a brew with it. I've done a test before with it, no crumbs at all. You can hear it's actually fairly quiet. Only thing I did have, again, was priming issues. Took a bit of an effort to make the thing primed. You know, have to turn it off and on a few times. Hence why I'm using the switch over here, make it nice and easy. But yeah, it's off and running again. That's easy enough. So, see how we go.